Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this channel Technical Drawing Masterclass. So in our last video we looked at the rear end elevation and I took you through all what it takes to draw the rear end elevation. But today we are going to look at uh, the east end and the west end elevation. Remember I promised to, to take you through the two elevations. So this is what we are going to handle today. Let's proceed. Still from the same drawing, the ground floor plan, but this drawing majorly shows uh, the furniture layout in the building. That's why I indicated it as the furniture layout plan. But we can use it also to get these elevations. Let's proceed. I'll copy that drawing to a free space. We are going to start with the east end elevation. Then we shall end with the west end elevation. So what we are going to do is we are going to rotate this drawing the anti-clockwise direction. So I'll click on the rotate command. I'll click on the center of the drawing. Then I'll rotate it anti-clockwise like that. So I'll use the line command. Then I'll make sure that my layer for walls is selected. Then I'll draw a line. Then after, I'll offset that line at a height of 100 millimeters. I press enter and also offset the same line at a height of 3000 millimeters. So when I'm done, still using the same line command. At this point, I'll raise a perpendicular. Then I'll highlight it. Then I'll copy this line to these different points. Okay, so I'll use the trim command, trim off those excess lines. Then after that, I'll highlight this line. Then I'll offset it at a distance of 200 millimeters, such that it can give me the facial body. So I'll trim off these lines. I think also I should remove these ones. So what I'm left with right now is uh, to indicate the roof. Uh, remember, uh, the east end elevation, if you're standing at this point, then you're looking at the building at this side. You won't be seeing any building opening because you don't have it. So that's why you see at our elevation right here, there is nothing uh, indicated as a wall opening. It's a complete wall. Hope you understand my point. So let's proceed with the roof. So first I'll select my layer for roof, which is right here. Then I'll use the line command. So at this point right here, I'll draw a line of any length. Then I press the tab key at the keyboard. Then I'll put in an angle of 30, press enter. Then I'll do the same thing this side. I'll press the tab key. Then I'll put in this time uh, 150 degrees. So I'll trim off this excess part of the lines. Then next, I'm going to uh, create the ridge, the roof ridge. So I'll highlight this line as I've done. Then I'll offset it a distance of 50. And I'll use the trim command, trim off those lines. Those are those lines. So after that, I'll move this uh, drawing right here. Then what we are going to do next is to put uh, the grid lines. Position it right there. So also, I'll draw that rectangle. So I'll, I'll put these ones under 
left coins then after i'll highlight this line then i'll offset it at a distance of 75 millimeters then i'll use the extend command click at it such that i can extend uh, this line such as that is the edge of this rectangle that i've just drawn then i'll highlight it so i'm going to offset it at a distance of 1650 remember if you turn this drawing uh, in a clockwise direction and you want to draw uh, these grid lines starting with grid line a you start from this side uh, moving this side so grid line a is at a distance of 1650 millimeters from grid line b and also grid line b is at 1650 millimeters from grid line c and also grid line c is at a distance of 1650 millimeters then grid line d is at 1500 millimeters from grid line e so you notice that these first four grid lines they have equal distances apart so this is what we are going to do right here i'll click at it and i'll put in 1650 then um, this last one i'll put 1500 which is right there so i'll highlight them then i'll select the layer for grid lines still highlighted i'll select is dotted format lines so i'll press escape then after that i'll click or highlight this uh, tag then i'll click at copy now place it at that point right there lastly at that point so i'll edit this one too should be roughly at the center of that circle then i'll edit this one to six then i'll edit this one to d and i'll edit this one to e so when i'm done with drawing those lines i'll delete uh, those two squares and the rectangle so after that i'll select the layer for dimensions and i'll click at the dimension command at that point i stretch up my dimension up to that point at grid line b so you find that the distance between them is 1650 then I'll, I'll click at the dimension then i hover my cursor at this blue button right here then I'll select continue dimension. So when you're done with uh, putting the dimensions, you shall copy these decorative molds from this elevation right here. Then press it right here. So when you're done, you're going to hatch uh, the roof. So I'll select this layer for hatch, then I'll click at the hatch command. Then for the hatch, I'll always use uh, this hatch command right here. So I'll click at it. Uh, I make it 45 as an angle then I give it a scale of 50 and I, I press enter on the keyboard so next I'll copy this tab to this one and also this one first now I'll, I'll put it right here then I'll move this one at that point. Then I'll highlight that one. 
then I'll move it at that point. Next, I'm going to indicate the different levels of the elevation. I'll select the three levels and I'll click at copy. Then I'll click at that point. I'll press them right there. So I'll try to move these ones. Should be at that point. And this one should be at that point. You should be careful not to interchange their positions because they should be at the same levels from the elevation where you have copied them from. I'll copy this. press it right there then I'll edit this one to east end elevation then this one also I edit to 6 so uh, we are done with uh, the east end elevation maybe what I have not indicated are the dimensions so I'll select my layer for dimensions from that point that point should indicate those dimensions so I think we are done with the east end elevation um, if I've forgotten uh, anything please let me know in the comment section then also before we proceed to the west end elevation if you haven't subscribed please better you do so such that you always get notified uh, whenever we upload our content so let's proceed to the west end elevation so still i'll highlight this same drawing then this time i'm going to rotate it in a clockwise direction so i'll click at it i'll rotate it like that roughly at an angle of 180 degrees in the same way i'll first uh, select this layer for walls then after that I'll draw that line then I'll click at the offset uh, command then I'll offset that line at a distance of 100 millimeters then still I'll offset it at a distance of 3000 millimeters so Still, I'll offset it down at a distance of 200 millimeters. Then, after that, I'll click at the line command. Then, I'll raise a perpendicular passing through our elevation that we are yet to draw. Then, I'll click at the copy command after me highlighting that perpendicular line. Start copying the same line and these different points. So, we have a window here. So, I'll also indicate it my elevation so after that i'll click on the trim command now trim off this these lines so next i'll also trim off these lines Here, I'll just highlight them then I delete them remember that uh, this window too uh, according to our rear end elevation which is right here it's at a height of 1800 millimeters from the uh, splash up run. so this is the same thing that we are going to indicate at our west end elevation so I'll highlight this line then I'll offset it at a distance of 1800 millimeters. Then I hit enter. Then after that, I'll select this window. Then I'll copy it to the east end elevation. So I'll delete that line and also those two lines because I no longer need them at the moment. So next, we're going to draw the the roof but before we proceed to the roof first delete uh, this drawing because now we no longer need it so i'll select 
a layer for roof right there and I'll click at the line command from this point I'll draw a line but it should be inclined at an angle of 30 just as the way I've been doing the previous uh, drawings then I'll tap on the tap key at the keyboard then I'll put in 30 and I'll press escape and I'll draw another line but it should be inclined at an angle of 150 so I'll trim off those lines and from that I'll highlight that line then I'll offset it at a distance of um, 50 millimeters so this side 50 then I'll use the trim command I'll trim off those lines okay so next I'm going to put the grid lines So I'll draw a square whose dimensions are 1000 millimeters. So I'll put it at that point. Then I'll move this one to a certain point right here. But to do so, I'll first snap it at this point and I move it horizontally in this direction. Then I'll also I'll also snap it at this point, then I move it vertically. So this is the point of intersection of those two lines. Position it at this point. Still, I'll use the rectangle command. Now stretch it up to that point. So next, I'm going to put the grid lines. So I'll highlight this line. Then I'll use the offset command. Then I'll offset it at a distance of 75 millimeters. Then after that, I'll extend this grid line until it meets the edge of the rectangle that I've just drawn right here so at this point remember that uh, the west end elevation literally they look alike and only that uh, there are two things that differentiate them the position of the window and also the arrangement of the grid lines uh, the arrangement of the grid lines at the west end elevation that we are yet to complete they are going to be the same, but they are going to be arranged differently from what we have at the east end elevation. Yes, I hope you get my point. For the west end elevation, we are going to start with a good line. In. So it should be at a distance of 1500 millimeters from good line D. So these others will follow. So let's proceed. I'll click at the offset command, then I'll offset that grid at a distance of 1500 millimeters. So I'll offset this at a distance of 1650 millimeters, and also this other one at a distance of 1650 millimeters, and also the last one at a distance of 1650 millimeters. So I'll do the same thing select the layer for grid lines then make them dotted okay I'll press the escape key at the keyboard I'll highlight these tags then I'll mirror them and I'll select no such that I can have the original copy right here and the duplicate copy which I need so I'll select the duplicate copy then I'll click at move Then I'll make sure that I position it at the intersection of the grid line plus the edge of the rectangle right there. Okay, so you find that uh, I'll position them in the right way. So next, I'm going to put the grid line, I mean the dimensions. So I select my layer for dimensions. I click at the dimension command. From that point right there, I'll stretch up my cursor up to that point or up to elevation D so I'll have my dimension I'll click at it then I hover my cursor that blue dot then I'll select continue dimension when you're done you just uh, press the escape key at the keyboard so I'll delete off these two squares and the rectangle so next 
I'm going to put in uh, the decorative mounts still. I'll just copy them from what I have right here. Then I'll position it at that point. Then also. Put it them there. So next, I'm going to put the hatch at the roof. So I'll select this hatch command or hatch layer. Then I'll click at the hatch command. Then I'll select this one. It's already there. So just click this free spaces. Then next, I'll name them. So I'll try to position this one in the right way. Then after that, I'm going to put the dimensions. So I'll select my layer for dimensions, which is right here. Then I click at the dimension command. The other thing is to indicate is levels of the elevation. You just need to position them right here after you copying them from this other elevation and also this other one. And I'll edit this one too. West end elevation, then I'll edit this one to seven. I'll try to move it down that point. So um, this is it for both the west end elevation and the east end elevation. So if you've really found something helpful and it has added value to you, um, please don't forget to like subscribe to the channel then also um, you can share this kind of content to your friends and relatives and to anyone that you feel like is in need of this kind of content so uh, thanks for watching we we'll meet next time so in our next video i'll be taking you at the cross section of uh, this uh, building so thanks for watching we we'll meet next time